Hello friends, today we are going to look at what is heavy code. Let's just consider two computers. First is a sender, then a receiver. If a sender sends the data to a receiver, then the receiver should know that the data which has been received by it is same as that of data which is sent by the sender because in the ongoing process there may be error introduced in the data such as because of the noise. So the receiver should uh, contain some method to detect an error. So the receiver can use a method known as a Hamming code. Hamming code is an error detection and correction method. Let's just consider the whole working of a Hamming code with respect to an example. Let's just consider a 4 bits which the sender wants to send to a receiver. Let it be 1, 0, 1 and 1. These bits are known as data bits. The Hamming code uses an additional bit which is known as a parity bit. The parity bit is used to detect an error. So the parity bit is always placed with respect to the data bits. So the position of the parity bit uh, uh, will be calculated with respect to 2 raised to power. That is the first parity bit P1 will take 2 raised to 0 that is the first position. The second parity bit 2 raised to 1 will take the second position. And the third parity bit P3 will take 2 raised to 2 that is the fourth position. So the whole data inside a sender will consist of a parity bit as well as the data bits. So let's just place the first parity bit P1 in the first position, second parity bit P2 in the second position and P3 let's just consider it as P4 in the fourth position. So fourth position. Now the remaining bits will be taken by the data bits that is the first data bit second, zero, third one and fourth one. Thus the whole code consists of a seven bits that is the four bits are known as data bits and the three bits that is known as the parity bits. Now we know the data bits value and that is 1011 and how can we consider the value of the parity bit? The parity bit value is with respect to the position of 1357 for the P1. We don't need to remember it we can calculate it using a split method. We will split 1 as 1, 2 as 2. We are not splitting 2 as 1 plus 1 because we will consider a constant element. The 2 raised to power elements are all constant. That is 2 raised to 0 is 1. So 1 will constant. We can't split 1 by the way. The second is 2 raised to 1 which is 2. We will not split 2 as 1 plus 1 because it is a constant number. So we will split 3 as 2 plus 1. Not 1 plus 1 plus 1 because we will always consider the nearest constant element. Now the 4. 4 is a constant element. So we will not split 4. Then for 5 we can write as 4 plus 1. And for 6 we can write it as 4 plus 2. For 7 we can write as 4 plus 2 plus 1. So, for P1, as you can see, we will see where all the 1 is occurring. 1 is occurring at 1, 3, 5 and 7. So, we will write P1 as 1, 3, 5, 7. For P2, we can see 2 is occurring at 2, 4, 2, 3, 6 and 7. So, 2, 3, 6 and 7. For P4, we will just see where is 4 occurring. 4 is occurring at 4, 5, 6 and 7. 4, 5, 6, 7. So, we will write... 4, 5, 6, 7. Now, we'll calculate the value of P1. P1 is with respect to position 1, 3, 5, 7. So, 1 is P1. We'll write as P1. 3 is 1. 5 is 0. And 7 is 1. So, we will con convert it into an even parity. Even, even parity means the number of 1 should be even. In this example, there are two ones, So, it is an even parity. So, we will make P1 as 0. For P2, we will just see 2, 3, 6, 7. P2 will write P2, 3, 6, 7. 3 is 1, 6 is 1, 7 is 1. As you can see, there is an odd number of 1. So we will add 1 to it to make an even parity. So the value of P2 will be 1. Now we will consider P4. P4 is with respect to position 4, 5, 6, 7. 4, 5, 6, 7. As you can see, there is odd number, there is even number of 1s, so we will add 0 to it. So the value of P1 is 0, P2 is 1, and P4 is 0. 
Now, so the whole data bit consists in the, the center side consists of data bits and parity bit, which is P1 is as you know, we calculated it is 0, P1 is 1, P, sorry, P2 is 1, and P4 is 0. So the whole data bit which has been calculated for the sender is with the, uh, plus the data bit plus the parity bit is 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. Now we will send this data bit to the receiver side with an error in it so that we can check the error. So we will replace the sixth position. We are considering the position from the right side. So we will replace the sixth position with 0. So at the center side, the center will get a parent bit as 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. So we are replacing only one bit that is the sixth bit with 0. Now at the receiver side, the receiver also calculate the parity bit. So, so for the first parity bit, receiver will take 1, 3, 5, 7 value. So 1 is 0, 3 is 1, 5 is 0, 7 is 1. It is an even parity. So the uh, receiver will add 0 to it. The value of P1 is 0. Now for P2, the receiver will see 2, 3, 6, 7. 2 is 1, 3 is 1. 6 is 0, 7 is 1. As you can see, there, there is odd number of 1s. So the receiver will add 1 to it to make it an even parity. And for P4, 4, 5, 6, 7. 4 is 0, 5 is 0, 6 is 0, 7 is 1. As you can see, it is an odd parity. So the receiver will add 1 to it to make it an even parity. So the value of P1, P2, P4 is 0, 1, 1. Now, the receiver will convert it into an binary format. So, to 0 into 2 raised to 0 plus 1 into 2 raised to 1 plus 1 into 2 raised to 2. As you can see, the 4 plus 2 plus 0 is 6. That means there is error in the 6th position. As you can see, we have replaced the 6th position of 1 with 0. So, the receiver can identify the error that there is an error in the 6th position. The having code can only detect an error of one bit. So if we are getting a value of zero, that means there is no error in the code. See if we replace this with one, so we will get zero here and zero here. So the whole binary format will be converted into decimal, we will get a zero. Hence if we get a zero, there is no error in the code. If we get a push number, that means there is an error in the code with respect to that number. Thank you for watching guys. If you like the video, please hit the like button and please do subscribe. Thank you.